Okay, thank you very much. Um, uh, at the start, I would like to thank the organizing committee for the ninth International Conference on Water Resources and Arid Environments. Uh, it's my pleasure to give you um, an overview of the uh, recent developments in um, the water sector reform in Saudi Arabia and uh, in view of the Virgin 2030. This is uh, a list of the uh, topics that I will be talking about. Uh, first, we'll be talking about the uh, challenges that uh, have been facing the water sector in the kingdom, uh, some glimpse of the previous reforms of the water sector, and the National Water Strategy 2030, uh, and within the National uh, Water Strategy, the reform programs uh, within that strategy and what we have achieved uh, up to date in those uh, programs, some individual achievements of the stakeholders of the water sector, and uh, some future plans and next steps to uh, complete the transformation in the sector. Uh, when I say the challenges facing the water sector, I'm not really talking about the challenges uh, facing the water sector today. Uh, this has been um, um, assessment by um, the effort to um, start the national water strategy. And the first step was to assess the challenges facing the water sector so that the strategy will um, recommend programs and initiatives uh, to, overcome, uh, to overcome those challenges uh, and um, uh, define the plan for the transformation of the sector until 2030. In the list that you see on the screen right now, um, some of five major challenges were uh, identified in that time. Uh, very quick, uh, those challenges, inadequate management and development of water resources, high urban water requirements coupled with an energy intensive supply mix, suboptimal sub service quality and resiliency, poor financial management and commercialization of the water sector, and uh, probably the most relevant uh, challenge, uh, most relevant to uh, the topic that I'm talking about right now is the um, problem in institutional and regulatory uh, reforms, um, which is uh, impacting, which was impacting the effective governance of the water sector and also contribution to the private sector participation uh, growth in the kingdom. Uh, a quick look at the previous reforms of the water sector. The water sector in Saudi Arabia um, is a very dynamic uh, sector. Uh, this is only part of the, of the, of the picture um, from 2000 until 2016, where we had the um, uh, national water strategy. Uh, and there has been a lot of development. The, um, uh, water was part of a ministry between agriculture and water, then it was separated and then um, joined the electricity in one ministry called Ministry of Water and Electricity. Um, and uh, the establishment of the uh, commission. I'm not going to read all of the developments, but you can look at um, uh, several um, developments uh, in this uh, history line or timeline here, where we had our first um, IWPP start operation 2009. Um, there was a strategy for restructuring saline water uh, com converging corporation, uh, the establishment of the national water company, um, and it starts only on to um, major cities and then uh, inclusion of other parts of Saudi Arabia. Um, and until we come to this um, 2016, where uh, water, environment, and agriculture uh, were put together in one ministry. From 2016 um, until now, there has been also uh, some major developments, probably the most important of which is the 
uh, issuance of the National Water Strategy 2030, and that was uh, approved in uh, 2018, and then the um, Water Law or Water Act that was approved late uh, 20, 000, uh, 2020. Of course, we uh, cannot talk about water sector in Saudi Arabia without um, giving some background on the National Water Strategy 2030. Um, the main um, aim of the strategy is uh, to achieve a water sector sustainability and, of course, uh, ensuring or improving the quality of the service. The vision of the uh, strategy or the vision of the water sector is a sustainable water sector, safeguarding and developing the natural resources and the environment of the kingdom and providing cost-effective supply and high quality services. So out of this uh, vision, uh, five dimensions uh, of the objectives of the water sector were outlined. Um, these are the availability, in terms of access, quantity, and resilience, the quality of the water and the quality of the service, the environmental sustainability in terms of uh, preserving the resources and also in terms of minimizing the environmental footprint of the industry, the water industry, economic sustainability in terms of the economic contribution, the growth and localization or uh, increasing the local dimension or the local content of the sector. And uh, finally, the affordability, affordability uh, in terms of the price and the cost uh, effectiveness. Um, this strategy has 10 programs. And for each program, there, there are several uh, initiatives. Uh, these initiatives can be uh, groups of projects or projects or uh, some activities uh, and each um, program has certain uh, key performance indicators uh, and that are uh, measured and there are um, targets for each uh, KPI. <clears throat> So uh, the strategy is defined along a comprehensive and integrated framework that addresses key components for the water uh, sector uh, reforms. Again, the um, uh, dimensions or the objectives are availability, quality, environmental sustainability, economic sustainability, and affordability. And um, the, the levers of those, um, of course, are the demand on all uses, whether agriculture, urban, industrial, or environmental, uh, the supply, um, supply mix uh, between surface groundwater, desalinated seawater, treated sewage effluent, um, and alternative sources, and of course, the consideration of the whole uh, supply chain, uh, from uh, production and supply to storage, transmission, of the water, distribution, um, non-revenue water, collection of wastewater and treatment, and of course the customer uh, service. And to be able to uh, reach these objectives and work with the levers, there are certain uh, enablers that have to be uh, in place. These can be institutional uh, settings, uh, policies, laws, and regulations, um, capabilities in terms of the national, uh, of, in terms of the human uh, capital, um, research development, and so on, and uh, economic requirements, and um, performance management in terms of managing uh, and management, monitoring and control, and outreach and engagement. So these are the 10 programs that I um, talked about earlier. Um, if we take a quick look at those programs, you will see that water law and resources management regulations is program number one, and under which uh, we have two uh, initiatives. <clears throat> and then water resources management with 15 initiatives, sector resilience, 
which addresses uh, emergency and risk um, and really uh, eliminate vulnerabilities. It has three um, initiatives, innovation and capacity building, supply chain efficiency and service quality, <clears throat> uh, water service regulations, restructuring of the saline water uh, converging corporation, privatization of the uh, production and also of the wastewater treatment, <clears throat> the restructuring of the <clears throat> redistribution and privatization, and finally, the uh, irrigation organization set up and irrigation uh, improvement. Each of these programs has uh, several initiatives. There is a responsible or sponsor um, partner of the sector, and there are uh, timelines, or there is timeline for uh, each of these programs uh, that talks about when to start and, and when it will uh, accomplish its goals and what it needs. It goes down to more details, including the budget, the studies, uh, and so on. So out of these 10 uh, programs, we can um, single out six of the programs as uh, programs really uh, concerning the reform of the sector. Um, one of them, uh, you can see that the ministry is uh, responsible for, which is the issuing the water law and resource management uh, regulation, and then water service regulations uh, restructuring and so on. Uh, each of these initiatives, we have one partner that is responsible and the ministry, of course, is uh, supervising the whole uh, effort. So these six uh, programs, have, uh, we'll look at them one by one and see uh, how we are doing on, on those. Uh, if we take program number one, uh, which is issuance of the Water Law or the Water Act and the, uh, the resource management regulations, see that we have, uh, we're uh, planning to finish it by now, 100%, uh, both and uh, uh, both of these, both of these initiatives have been accomplished, accomplished, sorry. Uh, the Water Act has been issued um, it has certain um, aims and, and, and uh, objectives, uh, for example, preserving, developing, and protecting the water resources, ensuring safe, clean, reliable, and high-quality water supply at competitive and reasonable, reasonable price, enhancing the private sector participation, uh, making sure that every person has access to clean, safe, and uh, water that is up to the uh, approved standards and specifications. And uh, finally, um, making sure that uh, the supply uh, is continuous uh, for the agricultural sector so that we can ensure the sustainability of the agriculture and um, within the food strategy. So this uh, program is uh, complete. Um, uh, the second part of the program, which is related, which is or the second part of the regulations, uh, which is program number six, related to the water services regulation. And it has uh, some uh, initi initiatives and projects. Uh, the water service uh, regulatory capabilities uh, is, is uh, underway uh, toward the completion. We have reached 70%, which is less, which is a little bit less than what we uh, are planning for urban tariff reforms, 30% uh, development of uh, and enactment of regulation licenses and codes and commercial agreement and balancing account is, is yet to uh, start. The Water Act regulations have been prepared, approved for, for implementation with a ministerial decision and the work is in progress on the enactment of regulation licenses and uh, codes. If we take program number seven, which is the um, restructuring of the Saline Water Convergent Corporation, uh, we have three uh, initiatives. Um, 
the group, I will take it from the uh, initiative number three, which has been, which is completed so far, which is the um, restructuring in terms of legal, financial, and organizational. Uh, now we are working on, on two other uh, initiatives, technical assessment of transmission lines and assets, and technical due diligence of production assets. Uh, so the work is in progress uh, to enact the restructuring of the, of the uh, WCC. Um, there is uh, a new company called Water Transmission and Technologies um, uh, that had uh, emerged from the uh, Saline Water Conversion Corporation and entered into an agreement or management uh, service support between the two organizations and uh, the agreement includes separation of production assets from transport, storage, and uh, the commercial side uh, to ensure a gradual transition of managing, operating, and maintaining the water transport, storage, and maintenance systems of the uh, facilities uh, between these two organizations. And the aim is to increase the business performance and sustainability of desalinated water supply uh, services. Program number eight um, is concerning the production production of water and wastewater treatment uh, privatization. This is the responsibility of the uh, Saudi Water Partnership Company. Uh, there are three uh, associated uh, initiatives. Uh, the first one is strengthening uh, WEC, which is the water and electricity company now. It is uh, renamed as Saudi Water Partnership Company, and this is done um, completely. We are now um, into water production, transaction execution to involve private sector, and there has been several projects on this uh, under this initiative, uh, there are now uh, several uh, desalination plants uh, that are uh, under construction and will start producing uh, very soon. Some of them will start producing as soon as October of this year. Uh, the wastewater treatment trans transaction also started with two uh, projects and we will add to this um, as time goes by and uh, by and uh, more and more of the facilities of the wastewater and the production will be included under this uh, mechanism. Program number nine is the uh, distribution and restructuring, uh, distribution, restructuring and privatization. And uh, it has four uh, initiatives. This is converting the National Water Company from a government company to a private uh, sector company to work uh, on a commercial basis. Um, now, um, the company, we are in the process of uh, joining the uh, regions uh, of the branches of the ministry to the, to the National Water Company and then signing agreements with uh, management contracts that started in two regions of Saudi Arabia, Northwest Saudi Arabia. By the end of this year, we expect to complete the uh, transition. And then uh, by 2030, the company will work on a completely uh, commercial basis and will be considered a private uh, sector. The last program is the 10th program, which is related to um, Saudi irrigation organization, and it has three initiatives. Uh, the first one is expansion of the mandate uh, and strategy definition, which has, which has been uh, completed 100%, and uh, the organization is working on uh, development of the capabilities and partnerships and improvement of irrigation efficiency and development of uh, treated sewage effluent reuse in the agriculture and other um, purposes. So, um, uh, what is remaining uh, is the following. 
to complete the transition uh, of, the, of the water se sector and um, accomplish success in terms of uh, reform. Um, we are working on um, determining the actual cost of the water sector activities and review uh, tariffs for, for the uh, services. Um, working on the final report of the technical evaluation of the uh, SWCC transmission systems, issuance of the final report of the technical evaluation of the production assets, preparing and signing agreements for privatization of new, of new wastewater treatment plants and uh, water uh, treatment plants, integration of all regions of the kingdom under uh, the National Water Company, and um, preparing uh, operation and maintenance uh, management contracts uh, with the private sector, with alliances, um, having an, an uh, independent auditor contract with uh, six clusters uh, for the concession uh, contracts. With this, I uh, complete my presentation and I thank you very much for listening.